No matter how busy you ever got, you always found time for me. I can't believe I'm never gonna speak to you again. <laughs> when I was just a little girl, I asked my mother... What is this, Danny? I found it. the scary movie is because I got I lost a bet and so one of the reasons why I don't like scary movies and in particular this is one that is definitely uh to me number one and that is that it was super 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 gory like it was a lot of throw up a lot of blood a lot of stabbing a lot of chainsaws and stuff that was just flesh and it just I just didn't. That's number one. Like, it was very, very gory. It was a very gory movie. So I, I don't know anything about the movie. I just know that baby wanted to see it, and I was like, sure. So the Evil Dead franchise, rise is gory. It's that's their genre. It's oh. gory. So it's not like suspense or true horror. It's it's horror, but it's gory horror. So I'm a horror movie person. I appreciated the movie just based off of the fact that. It was fast paced like it went from boom 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 like it was not like a dull moment or a long dull moment in the movie like it just kept going and i can truly appreciate that because you know how some scary movies they be like the demon or whatever got to rev up for the, the killing not this demon got straight to the killing straight to the creepy straight to the killing let's get it over with like, mm -hmm. i can appreciate that it's not a demon that plays games i like that yeah, it was it was it, it was like yeah, it was pretty fast paced from the from the start of the movie. Um let's see, something that I remember from the movie is Oh, the sun. When the sun first found the the book, like it was an earthquake and then it was in a vault or something like that, like clearly hidden, like clearly nobody's supposed to find it. But here this little boy go. Of course, all that privilege gonna go down there and open the vault up. And he got a book with teeth on it. <laughs> and finally, I'm like, hmm, book with teeth? Let me see what that's about. You know, like, so he goes and he gets the book. And I was just like, come on, my boy. Come on. And he's like, you know, he's like, maybe mom needs some money or can get some money off of it. 
Like, sir, I, I, don't, I don't know how much money you're going to plan on getting off of that, but it don't, it don't look like it's going to run you up nothing. So it looked very old, very dusty, very evil, very do not open it. So he got the book, opened the book. Of course, the only way that he could open the book is because blood, blood. blood is the key to everything in the poor genre. Right? So he opens the book. Guys flipping through it, see all these creepy pictures, and he's just like, oh my god, I need to get these pictures. The older sister's like, ah, this looks creepy and scary, you need to put that back. She walks out of the room. My guy then proceeds to play the vinyl. The vinyl opens with the church or the priest or whatever. Anytime in a scary movie, if anything, guys, if you ever run across this, anytime it says a priest, the church, the church, priest, um, Catholic, Catholic, Catholic Church, like, like, it's, 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 it's evil. It's evil, especially if, yeah. I'm not saying especially if it's hidden. If it's hidden. I'm not saying that the Vatican Church is evil. What I'm saying is in the horror movie genre, anything that opens up with the church, priest, or mm, anything like that, it's evil. Yes. Just, yeah. just leave it alone. Just walk away. My guy couldn't did not understand that. He did not know that rule, and he proceeds to play the vinyl. The vinyl then proceeds, the priest on the vinyl proceeds to, what did he do? He, he was proceeds. talking about how he needs to discover, and that's why he was. So the priest on the vinyl then proceeds to say, we need to um, unveil, the unveil. we need to decode. The yeah, book that's what it was, decode. Decode the book of the dead. No, you don't. You don't need to decode the book of the dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They need to stay dead. So anyway, it's fast dead. forward. He starts saying the spell, right? The guy was playing this in the loudspeaker. He didn't even put his headphones on. He just panned it for the whole world. What I did not appreciate in order to move the plot forward is that the mother said, you never take the elevator after an earthquake. And then she proceeds to take the elevator. Took the elevator, bam, boom, she got possessed. Definitely giving black parent vibes, do as I say, not as I do. That's exactly what she did. She told him not to go down the elevator and then she clearly went down the elevator. Not even 10 minutes after she said that. So yeah, she was definitely giving us that type of energy. Uh, let me see, what else? I'm sorry, baby, go ahead, you had something. No, go ahead. Uh, so something else I like, well, I ain't gonna say I like. I was scared, so there was some time, I'm not even gonna cap, cause I'm not one of the people that's gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah. There was some times I had my eyes closed. It was definitely sometimes I had my eyes closed. It was the time where the lady was in the bathtub and then she hopped on the ceiling and started wilding out and I definitely got scared. I definitely got scared. I went ahead and closed my eyes. So she hopped on the ceiling. I closed my eyes on that part. It was too much. Because she was possessed by this point. Guys, so the lady gets possessed and then she goes back into the house and these people act like they don't know what possession looks like. They don't know what something mean? not right looks like. Like you may not immediately know, but my sister clearly look crazy. She, she looked a little, she looked a little twist. She she look broke. Like not like bro bro like broke ain't got no money. Like, broke like, like literally like, broke. Bones broke. look broke. Face look scratched up. Eyes look completely different colors. Yeah, she looked like, like broke. Like she, she had those, She had those twilight eyes when uh, after they just fed them golden eyes. This that's not a real eye color. Um, something's clearly wrong here. These people have bypassed all of that. All the cute clues. They all the clues. didn't use none of their deductive reasons. None of it. They yeah. had no common sense. They did. Nothing. Uh, none of it. They just, what? Yeah. That's our mom. I like, know she's not. She's dead. <laughs> so this bitch off the window. <laughs> <laughs> so she was the, so she, she, when she was in the tub, she's like, oh, she was burning up and then she was just screaming all like, oh, Lord, that was too bad. I didn't like this. I didn't close my eyes. I wouldn't play with that bull crap. So, um, so whatever, at this point, guys, she's already possessed. Like we're, we're skipping ahead some parts to some parts. It's just like, there's no need to recap. But um, she's possessed, whatever. So she starts doing that. Like she starts kill, like killing people, killing foes, like eye bites, whatever. <laughs> what I did not appreciate is this, guys. Eye uh, bites? So she killed the neighbors, right? She killed yeah. them in the blink of an eye. They did not transform. They did not transform into the, the walking dead until the end of the movie. I didn't appreciate that because when she killed her kids, they immediately transformed. So the first kid to go was the yeah, awful, was young. the awful sister, the awful middle child, the actor. <laughs> she wasn't an awful sister; she was just an awful actor. Like she was the first to go. The mom uh, got her, and she she got a scratch on her face with a the gun because yeah, right? yeah. the mom put her blood on it, and then she started tattooing yeah, she her face, tripping. and then she you know she was out there. Um, she was eating. She was eating glass. Like when she was, uh, it's gross. 
and she was transforming over she started eating glass guys it was like what but anyways so the sister was the first to go the mom got her somehow they got the mom out of the house into the hallway like they stabbed her or something like that they put her out they put her outside so she's in the hallway she's murdering people right left and right kill them ah, i bite them none of these people transformed ah, i bite them none of these people transformed and well, then, her kids transformed. They're aggravated. But her kids was like immediately transforming. And let's get to the little girl. What did, what did this little girl do? This little girl decides to open the door for her mom. To my dead part? Yes. So she, so the mama killing people, clearly, she gonna look at the thing and say, Mom, you don't look so well. Clearly. You know she only, you know she ain't right. Baby just told her she had the little, the lowered eyes and she had the little broke, you know what I'm saying? She was, she was tripping. So like she looked jacked up, right? She was just burning up. She looked crazy, right? And so the little girl has seen all this now. Mm -hmm. And then she gonna tell my mom, you don't look well. The girl, your mama wasn't well when she was on the ceiling, okay? She wasn't well when she was on the ceiling. You've seen her up there, so you know that she wasn't right. Here she go, unlocking the door. And you know what the mama did as soon as she unlocked the door? Choked out. Immediately snatched her up. Immediately. Immediately. Immediately Choked her snatched up. Choked her up. So the awful actor, the older brother, came out of there and tried to make it. It wasn't that bad. Was like, was, they were awful. Like these actors, they were awful. So the older brother who started all of this, who should absolutely 1000% feel guilty because it's all his fault. <laughs> um, I, mean, I don't care. It's your fault. It's, it's absolutely your fault. Yeah. You are the cause. You are the main cause of this. Like none of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Um, so he comes in there, saves the little girl. The aunt comes out and he's like, ah, oh, we're gonna push her in here. We're gonna push her back out. So they push her out, right? So the aunt then proceeds to say, I need to listen to those fighters to see if I can find a clue. So she goes Girl, in, you know the violence got you in trouble in the first place? So she goes in there and starts listening to the final. The mom who's in the hallway figures out she can get into the apartment by going through the ceiling. So she gets in the vents, blah, 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 falls down. And the aunt, she's in there listen to the thing ignore the priest says these words there is nothing you can do you need to run you need to haul ass <laughs> he did not say <laughs> you need to get out of there i've been out of there i've been out of there no right. joke so just at that part the aunt sees the reflection sees the demon mom in the they reflection. start boxing they start boxing uh, uh, uh. bam 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 the aunt's losing clearly uh, she's she's losing yeah it's 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 it's, it's a clearly one side of it's, it's definitely it's, it's, a it's, one side fight. It's definitely giving me Tank and uh, Garcia vibes. It is. It's, it's not. She's not winning. Yeah. So anyway, so they start fighting, boxing, whatever, whatever. What's your um, next favorite part? My next favorite part would be when. Let's see. What What is my next favorite part? I got my next part. What's your next part? Well, it ain't a favorite part. It was just the next part. Well, first of all, it was a lot of throwing up in the movie. I, I wasn't even feeling that. But the next part, it's kind of closer to the end, though. Good. Okay, so when they was in the elevator, and then all that blood came rushing in the mm -hmm. elevator. Y'all, I want to know how many gallons... You! Thank you. I want to know how many gallons of fake blood did they use in that scene. I know you said, I know the budget may have been tight, but that was a lot of blood, y'all, in that dog on elevator. The budget was tight because all of this took place in the same apartment building, which, by the way, you wouldn't live there. Like, this. It looked very scary. It, it was like, who lives here? Nobody would do that. The little light was going, tick, tick, tick. Nobody would do that. Nobody would do that. But, so the elevator scene was my next favorite scene because all the blood came rushing in. Poor little Cassie. Little Cassie's like, Am I dead? She thought she was dead. She thought she was dead. Man, Cassie was like, man, look. She was over it. She's like, kill me, man. Now, I really want to point out, there was one point in the movie where the mom was clearly possessed, and they thought they killed her, and so instead of just tossing her out the window, they put her in the bed. Don't toss her out the window. They put her in the bed. They, they, put they, her they the made sure she, she was comfy. Like she, she was dead. She was clearly, they, they, she was they, clearly they, out of there. They put her in the, the coffin. Guys, this lady was clearly possessed. Like I, I have to keep re repeating this and going back to it because she was clearly, clearly not okay. And these people, that's what they lost me at. So I can't really give this movie a good rating because I'm like, nobody would think that somebody who looked like this is okay. <laughs> nobody would think that. Like, no, I, I your mama be looking crazy all the time. It's unrealistic, mate. Right? It's, it's unrealistic. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of blood. 
But yeah, it was. She was looking jacked up. Like, she was crazy. Clearly messed up. Clearly. My right. next favorite scene in the movie would probably be when it was over. Um, <laughs> what? And I say that. <laughs> what the heck? I say that because the the sequence in which the people so the kids transform immediately. Um, if if we didn't say this already. The oldest daughter and the oldest brother, they, they transform, right? So at the end of the movie, whatever, they all came together. Like, the aunt shot off the mom's leg and her arm. And so she just yeah. transformed with her children, right? She was just like, ah, they went to this, movie, big old, this yeah. blob thing, right? It was, it was, it was terrible. Ugh. It was terrible. So they transformed into this big blob thing, right? Ugh. At this point in the movie, that's when the people she killed earlier started transforming into the evil dead. They started transforming into the Oh, they dead. did. They did. By my calculations, they, they should have been transformed. transformed. <laughs> like, they should have been fighting off a gang of them, and yeah. it, wasn't. it wasn't. So they waited until the very end to give us the big climax. Guys, I didn't appreciate that because I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I feel like these things are timed. And that's why you don't take an Aquarius to the movie. No. <laughs> Logically, it doesn't it don't make, make sense. sense. I didn't like it. I didn't like that in The Walking Dead either, so I didn't watch it. Um, yeah. So, right, so we get to the end of the movie, guys. So the big blob thing is the mom the, and the children. Yeah. It's up for Cassie. Cassie. Cassie's the lone survivor. She was like, I'm a That little girl traumatized, honey. I'm not going to give up. She's definitely traumatized. She needs some, um, Severe counseling. Some severe counseling. I don't even know if that's truly going to help her. But, um, it's yeah. Good. So they get to the end, and in the end, they have their final scene where, what's that thing, like a grater? A cheese grater? Yeah, it's like a... Meat grinder? A meat grinder. Is that what it is? That, yeah. Is that what was out in the middle of the parking lot? Uh, what is that thing? The thing, it, yeah. Yeah. That's a meat grinder. Why is a meat grinder in the middle of... I don't know. A grater? Like a grater? What is it? Like a discreet yeah. ear? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I thought it was. It's something. It's something that crunches up stuff. Like, it, it crushes it. So, I don't know the proper name for it. But anyway, so that's the final scene, right? The final scene, they thought they was about to get out of there. They did not. They, they did not. So, <laughs> <laughs> they did not get out of there at all. So, um, oh, okay. No, what about the scene where they had the, the at the end, the chainsaw, the chain room, the chainsaw oh. was going on? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm thinking about something else, but go ahead. So, my favorite part. scene was at the end. The end part of the movie was where uh, they thought they was going to get out of there, so they made it to the car. The car conveniently was stuck in a pothole or something, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, they couldn't get out of there. <laughs> so, then... They thought it was going to walk around the car, right? Like, this is clearly a blob. It's clearly evil. It clearly can sense you. It clearly can smell you. So, the fact that they were able to just go around the car and the blob not immediately just jump over the car or just toss that shit to the side. It wasn't giving me. It was beyond me. It was not giving me um, demon. It was giving me very much so. How can we extend this scene and make it more intense? Um... <laughs> I did not appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So they did that. They did the whole walk around the car, whatever. So then this, the aunt, the gate came up when the gate was getting ready to close. And the aunt was like, oh my God, let's go. So they were running towards the end. Little Cassie messed around and got herself caught. She she got caught. She got caught. Caught up. Caught up. So the mom tossed her in this little meat grinder thing because she was about to eat her. She was like, I just want your head so you can join with the rest of your siblings. We are all going to be one, one for all. No. The aunt was like over there. She was like, ah, oh, no, I gotta get Cassie. I gotta save her. Side note. Side note. So the mom, the demon mom, clearly dug her fingernails into the aunt, right? Into her That belly. blood. And she should have She should have transformed. transformed. See? She yeah, didn't transform. She, she did. She dug her. She did. So maybe she's going to give birth to a demon baby. Either way. I, I won't be there for it. Either way. Either I way, won't be there for it. It's not consistent. That's what I mean by not consistent. Because the mom, the demon mom, dug her nails into the aunt's belly. She was like, I can eat two souls. She should have said two. Like, it's like she had a two for one. She did. She did. I, she should have definitely. She said two had. souls. She's about to be four for four. She um, did. She did say that. But uh, I don't know why she didn't transform or how that's going to go. I feel like that was just way to get an evil dead rise to. But I didn't like it because, by all accounts, she should have transformed. Um, but she didn't. And so, anyway, so she goes to save Cassie and then um, kills the monster. Meat grinds her up. 
Everybody did. Um, <laughs> Me crying so loud. <laughs> Everybody. And that was it. And that was it. That was it. That was the end of the movie, guys. Um, I'm going to give it. I'm scary, though. So I'm going to give it three and a half stars. I'm going to give the movie. I went out of five. I'll give the movie a three and a half stars. And I only say that because there were some plot loopholes. Like, and I don't care nothing about that. I was scared. So with all those loopholes and all those flaws and all those things, I just felt like it's a 3.5. The movie was good in the aspect of it kept moving. Like it, it kept moving. Like boom, boom, sing, 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 action, sing, action, sing, action. action. The actress was trash. You can do it. Um, the timing of which people transform, trash. Uh, the convenience of everything, trash. It was just not, it wasn't giving me what I needed to be gave. I was just scared, y'all. I was just ready for the movie to be over at some point. After all that blood was in elevator, I'm like, okay, I'm done at this point. I, I, I was done with, with Lady on the series, to be honest with you. But, you know, so it's good. So, yeah, that is what. Our movie review is going to be. That is our movie review for Rise Evil Dead Rise. Rise. Evil Dead Rise. Yeah, Evil Dead Rise. So, so the next time. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. With that being said, let us know if you are going to go watch this movie. Let us know if you watch the movie. Let us know what you think about the movie. And until next time, guys. Peace. Don't go open up no books. Don't no, open up your damn books. Okay. Leave them alone. You <laughs> don't-